Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I am the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we are going to be discussing the penny stocks RSCF, SFOR, TSNP, MVIS, AVXL, and we're going to take a look at the Tilray Afria merger news today. But before we get into that, we have some housekeeping issues. Um, we have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. And then go over and uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Hit the uh, red subscribe button, the little notification bell to uh, be notified when we go live with a new video. Um, also, uh, if you're looking for free stocks uh, until the end of the year, Webull is offering some uh, special promotions. Uh, I think we now between now and the end of the year, can get uh, between two and six free stocks uh, when you sign up. So uh, use our referral link to get that special offer. Uh, and then uh, to get our email alerts, uh, go over to sign up dot insiderfinancial.com after you sign up uh, if you live in the US you can then get on our SMS text messaging service with your mobile number uh, if you live outside the US you will still get our email alerts and you can get uh, some of our recent winners have been NEO MMMEDF ENZC and TSNP and with that out of the way, let's get going. Um, so today um, we're going to be discussing what happened yesterday. And, and yesterday was just a sea of red uh, across the OTC markets. Uh, most of the recent high, high flyers all gave up ground. Um, and un unfortunately, we don't think the bottom is in yet. Uh, we're, we're, sort of, we're not seeing capitulation or a bounce. Uh, we want to see some sign that the, the selling pressure is, is over. And this, this trading action is being exacer exacerbated by, you know, just nervous longs, uh, you know, selling here at the, at the, as the price drops. And then you got a few that have, that have big gains that, uh, you know, we've seen across the board and they're, they're, they're booking profits. So, you know, um, it's stock, trading penny stocks, stocks in general, it's all supply and demand. More selling, price goes lower. More buying, price goes up. It's, it's that simple. And, you know, we want to stress that, you know, we, uh, we encourage profit taking. And, uh, you know, this article, I'll give you an example, WDLF. Um, we discussed it, you know, last week. We said Social Life Network rises 7,000% in five days. And, you know, we basically, you know, said time to book profits, you know, and boy, did we get the hate mail. And I mean, the, the, on social media, it was visceral. We had no short position. We made no money on that trade at all. There was no coordinated effort. Um, yes, we do have a big following. We're not going to deny that. But, you know, guys, look at this run here. I mean, this was, you know, it started here at a triple zero, triple zero two, and ran almost all the way to a penny. I mean, all we were saying, our article came out here on, on December 8th. We said book profits. I mean, this is common sense. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're not going to get into, you know, what's next for WDLF. It, it, we don't know what happens here. Um, but at the time, you know, we looked at it and it was, it was time to book profits. And, uh, you know, we only act when we see something. 
We're not going to just put out coverage for the sake of discussing coverage. There's no point in doing that. It doesn't benefit our readers, doesn't benefit our subscribers. Um, so, you know, that's not the, what we're trying to do. You know, we're trying to find winners. And, um, you know, you know we, the key to trading penny stocks, and, and we stress this repeatedly, is, you know, find the momentum before it happens and, and then be patient. You know, you want to find these runners like WDLF. And, and then sit back, let it let it happen. And then by all means, book profits, please. No one goes broke take, you know, you won't go broke taking a profit. Um, you know, and it, it's like it, it, these, it, this group, uh, you know, on iHub, on Twitter, this is, investing's not a team sport. You know, they think it's, oh, you sold. Oh, you, you're not part of the club anymore. There is no club. I mean, you are your own investor. You're running your own business. You're, you are your own venture capitalist. And, you know, the right approach to trading penny stocks is having a basket. We repeat this over and over again. Have a basket of what you think are good quality penny stocks. You know, don't, uh, you know, put it all into one or two. You know, this is not, this is not, you know, that, that's like going to the casino and putting it on red or black. We don't, re we don't recommend that. And, uh, you know, in, in terms of if, if you want to day trade, you know, you, the, you can go over and uh, see that clown Tim Sykes. He'll charge you a couple hundred bucks or a couple thousand bucks, whatever he charges for his course. And, you know, he'll teach you how to make a couple hundred bucks today, then lose a thousand tomorrow. So, you know, that's a losing losing proposition. You know, we, we have over 20 years of experience in, in the penny stock business and the people that last in this business are the ones that take a diversified approach, whether it's five penny stocks, 10 penny stocks, but you know, they have a, a basket, some have 20, some have 30, you know, wh whatever it is, depending on the, on the size of your portfolio and getting started, uh, you know, if you wanna last in this business, you have to be diversified. And, and look at how venture cap capitalists approach their portfolio companies. You know, let's say they invest in 10 different companies. You know, they look at, you know, three or four are going to go broke, two or three will break even, and then two or three, you know, are the, are the big winners that pay for all the losers, uh, and, and they deliver returns to their, uh, to their uh, limited partners. So that's the way you want to approach this. Not everyone is going to be a winner, and uh, when you get a winner, always remember, take some profits off the table. And uh, speaking of taking profits, uh, you know, one that, that, that really topped out and, and uh, is RSCF. And uh, here you go over here and we take a look at RSCF. You know, you see you got this tremendous run, you know, starting at, you know, 17 cents, ran all the way to, uh, you know, three, what do we get up here to? 330, and now we're back down to a, you know, a buck 26. And, you know, guys, it's the same thing like with WDLF. We didn't burst that bubble. Management burst the bubble with their uh, PR. And you have to read the PRs closely. In WDLF's case, they posted that they only own 15% of MJ Link. Well, they, most investors were under the impression that it was a wholly owned subsidiary. They owned 100%. 15% is not 100%. Big red flag, selling pressure. In terms of RSCF, boy, did they uh, really mess things up here. Um, you know, they put out a press release and they announced a new patent, but they, they made things worse. And they said, we are still awaiting response from Operation Warp Speed, a FEMA contractor and other organizations from who we have received inquiries for our Cryomatrix S90 cryogenic shipping and storage system. Ding, 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 folks. That means no one's using their system. I don't care how great the patents are, but if no one is using their, their, their cold storage technology, it's not worth anything. I mean, I'm not saying it's, not, it's, it's worthless, but they need to get uh, it, 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 it in the market and people using it. And, you know, a lot of people were under the impression that the technology was going to be used to store and transport the Pfizer vaccine. Well, 
if they can't even get a call back from Operation Warp Speed that is coordinating the district distribution of the vaccine, well, they admitted it, you know, and they effectively burst the bubble in their own sh in their own stock price. So, you know, we're pointing this out, but don't blame us. This is management. You know, management is, is, is not delivering. So, you know, again, you know, for a lot of these, uh, you know, busted, uh, you know, penny stocks, a lot of it is, is just, you know, you blame management. It's, it's not the, 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 you know, journalists like us that are pointing things out. It's, it's management. So, you know, we're, we're, we think that RSF, you know, until they can clarify that they're getting some action, uh, that is, um, it is, is, is not a buy the dip opportunity here. SFOR is one that we really like. Um, and this stock here, this is just simply down on, on profit taking. I mean, look at this tremendous run, you know, from double zero twos, you know, all the way to 20 cents. That is just, we, it's beautiful. We love seeing that. And congrats, congratulations to all that, that, that got in and took advantage of it. I mean, in, in the span of five days, the stock ran over 6,000%. And, you know, this is, you, you got to love the OTC, you know, this quarter. I mean, we used to be happy getting 100%, 200, 300% runner. Now, you know, if it's under 1,000%, we're disappointed. You know, we're so used to these 10, 20, 30, 50 baggers, uh, uh, you know, in, in the terms of TSNP. I mean, this is a 220 bagger. I mean, so it's just been, just been an incredible and, you know, you're going to have red days, red weeks. It's just inevitable after the run that we, we've seen. Um, and SFOR, it's still a good play. Uh, the, the company is making all the right moves. Uh, they just announced it'd be filing a Schedule 14C to reduce its authorized shares from $14 billion to $4 billion. And, uh, you know, whenever a company is reducing authorized shares, huge win for shareholders. So... This is a great company firing on all cylinders. And uh, they just released its uh, Safe V chat for the video conferencing space. This is coming, going to go live on December 18th. Um, and then, you know, the company also added, you know, that they've said this. We also do not plan on doing any reverse stock splits. Bingo! Another huge win for shareholders. So, you know, again, when a company is executing, Mark K, CEO, brilliant guy, he's doing the right thing. You know, when you got good management, you know, at the helm, you can feel good about owning shares in 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 a, in in a, in this in SFO, you know, as a penny stock like SFOR and uh, you know, buy the dips. So this is a winner, and uh, you know, if it goes lower, it's look at it as a gift. Um, TSNP, this is the biggest runner of 2020, and we saw some nervous longs got rattled yesterday uh, after a no an anonymous short seller released a short and distort attack on Seeking Alpha. And in our article, if you go to and read it, it's there. Um, you know, we're not hiding for, we're not afraid of, the, I mean, shorts, they have a right to, you know, freedom of speech, go and say what you want. Um, you know, if you offer concrete evidence, we're, we will, you know, uh, evaluate it and, and uh, you know, if we agree, we will say so. And, you know, an example is we, we uh, this summer on Hindenburg, when they came out on Nikola and Trevor Milton, we read the report and we're like, yeah, they, they got this guy. This, this, is, this, this sounds fishy and uh, it's time to get out of Nikola. And we make calls like that. And, uh, you know, so we read this report and there's nothing there so uh you know shorty shorts if you got something you gotta you gotta do more than than what you uh put out on on seeking alpha and uh you know there's plenty of coverage here on insider financial we've been covering it before anyone uh we recommend it at triple zero eight so uh you know go and read our coverage we just had a recent uh video that we updated on uh, about the uh, investor call and the, and the recent trading activity. So uh, that's a, a good one for you to go and, and watch and, uh, and, and listen. Uh, another one uh, we're following up here is on MVIS. 
And, uh, you know, what's interesting here is for the fa past few weeks, uh, you know, all the action's been on the OTC markets. You know, penny stocks on the NASDAQ and NYS NYSE, they've been mostly disappointing. You know, uh, we've not seen the runners that we saw over the summer, like uh, G Genius, GNUS, uh, you know, a lot of the um, uh, COVID vaccine plays were huge over the summer that we got our subscribers in. Uh, SRNE, uh, Sorrento, IBIO was great, uh, Vaxart, um, KTOF. So there was just a lot of a lot of runners on the NASDAQ and NYSE earlier uh, this year, but uh, there's been a shortage of them. There have mostly been one-day pumps, and uh, and that's it. Um, and MVIS, you know, this has been uh, a good winner for subscribers that stuck with it. You know, if, again, you take the, the, the portfolio approach, you bought some uh, MVIS on a recommendation, you just put it on the side, you wait it, it, it has rewarded you. You know, we profiled it when it was just $1.25 a share. You know, it's over 4 bucks. You know, now, uh, you know, they're sitting on 236% gains. So it's taken a few months, but, but we finally got there. And, uh, you know, what's going on there is that, you know, MVIS, for those of you that are not, not familiar with it, they have a valuable patent portfolio and there's a lot of takeover speculation. Uh, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, and many, many other companies, they need to strengthen their LiDAR, AR, VR capabilities. And uh, here, MVIS is, is the market leader. And LiDAR, for those of you um, not familiar with LiDAR, this is the technology being used in autonomous driving vehicles. So it's sensors that, you know, basically senses what's going on on the road and allows the cars to drive by themselves. And, uh, you know, Microvision, they have over 450 issued patents, pat uh, pending patents and licensed patents worldwide. You know, this patent portfolio is very, very valuable. And, uh, you know, no doubt one or more of the companies above are already infringing on Microvision's patents. So, uh, you know, in, in Silicon Valley, it is a patent war. Uh, Oracle and Google are in a lot of litigation. Uh, Apple's in a lot of litigation. So, um, you know, our, uh, w we really think that uh, eventually MVIS is going to get bought out. And, uh, you know, maybe something's getting leaked, but uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, nice action in MVIS. Moving on to another uh, NASDAQ runner is uh, AVXL. And, uh, you know, we said back in October that AVXL was ready to make a big move, which, uh, you know, you can read here. Um, we have said time and time again that AV Anavex 2 73, it's one of the most promising drugs in development. And uh, yesterday's results prove this. Uh, the company AVXL, it's running on the back of positive top line results from a phase two trial evaluating Anavex 2 73 in adult female patients with Rett syndrome. Um, I'm not going to bore you with the details, but basically, Rett. Uh, phase two trial, that's what they're evaluating. And then we're waiting, uh, Anavex 273 is in trials on, uh, on Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. So uh, we think it's one of the most promising drugs in development. And, uh, you know, RET, Alzheimer's, Parkinson, these are huge uh, markets and there is no uh, current treatment. So if uh, Anavex succeeds, it's going to be a, I mean, blockbuster isn't the word. It's, uh, it's, it's going to dwarf anything that any drug anyone has ever seen. So um, this is, a, this is a, uh, it's a speculative biotech, but we think, uh, uh, you know, it, all, it favors the bulls right now. And uh, lastly, um, what's going on is the Tilray and Afria have agreed to merge. They're going to create a $4 billion market cap cannabis player. Uh, the merged company will be called Tilray, and it will continue to trade under the symbol TLRY. Um, under the terms of the deal, Afria owners will receive 0.8381 shares of Tilray for each Afria share they own, uh, while Tilray owners will continue to hold their shares. Uh, Afria will own about 62% of the combined company. Um, so uh, it says here the combined company, uh, supported by low cost, state of the art cultivation, processing, and manufacturing facilities, will have a complete portfolio of branded cannabis 2.0 products in Canada. And then internationally, they got stuff going on in Europe, in the US. 
Um, why are we discussing this and what's so exciting about this is that, you know, this is just a, a positive for the cannabis space in general. We see this merger lifting other cannabis, the, the entire sector. We're going to see more M&A. Consolidation is, is badly needed. And uh, we're also going to see a lot of these small cap uh, cannabis names start to run again. Uh, three that, that we, we've profiled on the site, CBDD, CBDL, and CBGL. Uh, all three, they've been beaten up, and, uh, you know, they could, they could see a nice bounce. So we, we, we uh, highly recommend you go and check them out. And remember, when you go to the site, insiderfinancial.com, just type the search term CBDD and, uh, you know, whatever you want to look up, and you can check all our coverage on our stocks. Likewise, in the comments section, you want something, want to, if you can't find a, uh, a stock you own that you want coverage on, go ahead in the comments section, leave a comment, and we'll take a look at it. And lastly, just to summarize and, and wrap up this video, folks, you know, investors don't panic when markets sell off. I mean, sell offs are, are inevitable. inevitable. This has just been a tremendous year for many penny stock investors. Um, you know, houses have been bought, cars, it, it's, you know, college educations have been paid. It's been life changing. And, uh, you know, so God bless and, and, and to everyone that was able to take advantage of this year, uh, you know, in spite of COVID and how difficult it was, if you've been in the market, you've had a tremendous year. And, uh, you know, so right now you, you, you're getting some nervous longs and then you're getting some people that are like, oh, I made so much money this year, oh, let me lock in some profits before the end of the year. And then you got others that are saying, well, we're going to wait till January to book profits because, you know, like us, we, we do tax planning and we don't want to sell anymore because we're going to have to pay tax next year. Uh, you know, extra tax and, 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 you know, it's already been a big year. So we'll just wait till the new year and, and, uh, you know, book the profits and, uh, for the next fiscal year. So, um, you know, a lot of tax planning is being done. So we expect, uh, we expect more red right now than green. Um, you know, there's going to be still opportunities. We're always on the hunt for, um, opportunities for our subscribers. Um, it, but it's, 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 it's a little bit harder right now. Um, you know, you're not going to be getting as many alerts. It, it, it sometimes, you know, we were alerting, you know, three, four times a week. You know, uh, it might be down to just once this week. You know, we're being very selective uh, on, on what we send out. So, you know, this is why it's important, you know, to get our direct alerts, you know, go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com, enter your email. Uh, we never post on social media. Uh, it, this stuff only, uh, it goes, our subscribers get first look, and uh, that's uh, why it pays to be a subscriber. So with that, all that said, I uh, thank all of you for watching today, listening, for subscribing, for joining Insider Financial. Uh, remember, uh, in this day and age with COVID, wear a mask, social distance, uh, protect your loved ones, uh, stay safe, you know, uh, and uh, God bless and uh, wish everyone a profitable trading week. And uh, also, if you want, remember, if you want free stocks from Webull, go over and uh, click on our uh, referral link to uh, get those free stocks. So good luck, everyone. And uh, we'll be uh, coming live to you tomorrow again. Thank you. Bye bye.